<laughs> All right, today is um, Wednesday, March 20th. It is 7, 10 p.m. This is the meeting of the Halifax Finance Committee. We are being recorded by Area 58. We do not have a um, quorum tonight, so we're going to skip the normal agenda and discuss um, the capital articles being recommended by the Capital Planning Committee, though we will not be voting on them tonight. Okay. So I gave you a handout, that's all the articles in the priority order, and then the column for us to the left was um, Bill's grading, oh, got this cut off, gone. didn't get, <laughs> sorry Bill, sorry Bill, no. I didn't even notice that, that's okay, I'm, in, uh, I'm indifferent, <laughs> uh, you can just shout out if you have I just they weren't that far off. They were actually. I see Mike's not here. I think it's only going to matter at the bottom of the list. Anyway. Right. I was just going to say, yeah. And I think my reply was very similar to probably what yours was. Just for Lenny. What? Well, we like yeah, I see that he wanted it moved up in priority. No, I wanted it moved to the bottom for respect. Like to respect to you. I yeah. put the fence up. Quite that. That's more of a priority. Okay, so the first item is the Howie uh, Department World Maintenance Account, 150000 Yeah. I think we discussed that already. Yeah. We do that every year yeah. just to keep money in that going towards the roads. Yep. Yeah. Next is the assessor's reevaluate revaluation funding. Um, I, I'm actually the liaison with capital planning, so I know this seems fairly well. So. Yeah. I'll just bring up the item, and if you guys have questions, you can feel free to ask. Yeah, I, I know there's the assessors have the reevaluation for the entire town issue, so okay. uh, so I'm aware of what it's for. So you'll see that in every year we put a third way, mm -hmm. so that's why. So I think this list represents the priority of the things that we do every year, and then it becomes what this year's capital plan is. Treasure collector, Gatsby OPEM study. It's a state mandated study that we're supposed to do every two years. We actually were supposed to do it in FY19, but didn't fund it. So we're doing it in FY20. Didn't fund it because it didn't make it, or didn't fund it because it got shot down at the meeting? It did, didn't fund it because we've got to put the article in. We've got to do it. <laughs> Um, the next one is the fire and new uh, purchase equipped in new ambulance for three hundred thousand dollars. Yes. That, that's is that replacing one or is it just a new add add one? It's replacing. Do you remember how old that one was, Kim? The old one. Um, this is the one that we had trouble with the chassis. Yes. Yeah. So this so one was when Chief Carico was here. We've had some problems with it from the very, very from beginning. The beginning. So it's definitely at least um, six or seven years old, and it gets a lot of use. Yeah. Any new updates on how the um, ambulance billing is going? Out of curiosity. Uh, the last time I checked, um, when I did the projection, I'm looking that we're probably going to get about five hundred thousand in revenue, which is a hundred thousand more than what we got last year. Uh, which is definitely up. It's not up to what they said, which was the 600, but we had late stat. I still, I think 600 was a was a wish and a prayer, but I think the 500 will see. And that's 100,000 more? 100,000 more than last year. So the expense line would be 50,000? It's 10% or something like that. No, it's like 4%. No, it's 4%. 4 for you. Yeah. yeah. So I think we increased it by 20,000. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The ambulance billing. Yeah, I think it's for change. Oh, it's relying on yeah. itself. So. Yeah. Well, that's why we agreed to push it the last year, because right. it looked like it was going to pay for itself and then some. So. Right. And that, can, that will help all the estimated receipts when we're doing the tax recap. Because if, if this is proving that we're getting more money in, then we'll go up high on the estimated receipt on that line. Especially if there's a delay in the process and it takes it's just taking a little bit to get going. That's what we're hoping. Yeah. yeah. And it'll probably pay for an annual to in a couple of years if we're looking. Cool. Well, what would in April methodology, what were we clearing for that line for this line or that line? 
four hundred. Well, receipts. Right now, we have four hundred thousand receipts as an estimate. That's we always use what we estimate for FY19 as our starting point for FY20. And we estimated 400000 because even though the new billing system was coming in, we didn't want to, um, we didn't want to okay. make any judgments. Yep. Like Charlie says, we're very concerned. Yeah, oh, I'm glad it's coming in higher than last year anyway, right. because I know it got off to a slow start. So right. it's good to see it come to fruition and hopefully it'll pick up. Yeah. Cool. Uh, next one is the police chief cruiser. Chief of police cruiser, 90,000. Yeah, it's two cruisers. Yeah. It's not the police, just the police chief. One is the police chief's car, okay. and the other yeah. is a cruiser. We typically would do two cruisers. He knew that we needed to buy an ambulance with other things. He is, apt has made its budget to accommodate trying to keep that extra cruiser one more thing. Yeah. One note I will make on that is we are not trading in vehicles, that, or at least one of them we do not believe will be traded in. He's double checking to make sure that this is enough for us. So hopefully this number won't have to change, but I'm just letting you know that um, when I, I go to him to ask if there are any changes. Yeah, he said that he knew that um, one of the departments was going to be changed. Yeah. I think building, building maintenance yeah. is open for one. Yeah, and we're going to have that discussion at a selectman's meeting to kind of talk about. So we're not sure exactly what we're having. Yeah, because there's not an article on here for that or anything, right? Right, no, because that we heard about it. I heard about it when we were in a meeting and I just last Monday. Monday. Yeah. yeah, and so I apologize that we're so far apart. I'm sick, so I don't want to infect anybody. <laughs> So the poor camera guy, like, couldn't you just sit next to her? <laughs> and I don't want to do a split anyway. screen, okay? <laughs> I know. Right, so the, I'm in isolation. <laughs> the cruiser line then is not net of trading value? Um, I think it, he, I, he believed it was net, um, net of trading value. Yes. I'm not sure whether it is or not. He's going to get back to me whether he thinks. We money. So, and again, remember that he also is not going to get the fancy Tahoe he's right. getting. Um, so the 90000 I believe, is before the trade-in because we, I think they're about forty, and I think 5000 is to equip them. Right. So. <coughs> that's, that's, if it changes, I will let you know, yeah. that's where we are right now. Will we know before the first? Oh, yeah. Hopefully, yes. That's why he was supposed to be making phone calls. I just had a lot of actual. Replace voting machines, the next line, 21,800. That's two. Both of them? Two, two machines, yeah. And um, she checked on it. It also includes any maintenance that needs to be done that year. So, we don't need additional money that. So well, hopefully they're 18 years old. Yeah, I, I've only, like I said, only been around one, one year, but I know she was asking for it. Well, she presented it last year. I think she had presented it a couple of years yeah. prior. Because right now she's having trouble getting the carts because they don't need <clears> them <throat> anymore. Yeah. Yeah. She had a lot of problems with the machines in yeah. the last year. She, she was telling me she was lucky that she got one a, a loaner from the state for the last election since right. one of them broke. We were getting really working. Next slide for the water department roof and chemical dispersion for both well fields, 520000 to be funded by the water department. Yeah. We discussed that. Was that two meetings ago, I think? Yeah. Yeah, a week ago today. Or no? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. It, was, yeah. Yeah, it was the one that I missed. I watched it online. So, yeah, last one is there. Any additional questions there? No. Network cabling refresh. There was a typo last time. It was seventy five hundred. This is now seventy five thousand. Yes, that's the correct. That was corrected in the meeting, but it's physically been corrected here too. Any questions on that? This was for what buildings? <coughs> all the buildings. All the, yeah. All so the um, all except for police and fire, right? And then server battery backups, $4,200. And that's actual battery backups for our servers in the, in the computer room over there. So that there's not an interruption if the power goes out. Um, 
next one, purchase 15 new computer computers with the Windows 10 operating system installed, as well as Office 365 Cloud. Were they getting installed? Well, Office 365 is all cloud, I think, yeah. so. Right. Yeah. These are police and fire. The computers will be for both police and fire. Jesus. We got to totally $2,300. Computers? That's holy mother. 15 computers for 35 grand? That's Does that include like a yes. software package we don't have? Or? That's, see, that's what I was questioning. That's a lot. Like, I have a top of the line computer at home that only cost me like $2,000. Is there a service contract <laughs> in that number or something? <laughs> We'll find out. Yeah. Ooh. I'm trying to see that. I don't remember if she, what he said with that. It's like a I thought it was cute. Decade of Microsoft. <laughs> I, I thought it was a yeah. skill. Really? 2300 yeah. computer? I paid uh, over 3000 for this. 3000 Holy yeah. Jesus. <laughs> I believe the that these are. That? Yeah. And how much RAM is it? Why don't you have it wrapped in bubble wrap or something? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, these are for the police cruisers, right? This is the 15. I enjoy it differently. Yes, yeah, so that's what it is. They're cruiser computers? Uh, yes, okay. so the, so state mandate changes reporting. Sorry, I was answering a text. I apologize. So st state requirement for recording and reporting, you know, like IMC required us to upgrade our computers to get this to proper software. So these are both for am ambulance and our cruisers because we run on the same okay, side. So they're not really. And we don't have 15, right? How many cruisers? No, we do. We have, we have at least, um, we have, like. We have six cruisers. Six. Chiefs cruiser. Yep. So. We have the fire chief's car. We have the ambulance. We have all of the, the fire vehicles. That's only nine. Then we have. Um, well, the uh, is it also the, the ones at the stations, too? Yes. Yes. Yes, one at the station. Yeah. The officers and Tony and... And they all have to have the state program, program and everything on there. Are you the liaison? You're the liaison with these, right? You, uh, ah, yeah. yes, Lenny is. Did you want to follow up or look at this? Um, I'm going to assume that if they're cruisers, there's, you know, hardware involved. Um, yeah, maybe it's not so. even split. Maybe the office, office ones are set longer, the cruiser ones are right. right. Because as I said, I mean, I have a three terabyte computer oh, home, you know, top of the line. And I assume these were laptops, not the best ones. Um, they're a combo. Because if you ever see it, the inside of the cruiser's laptop's pretty heavy to have duty. Okay. They're not like this, they're very. Right. So those might be industrial strength. Those might be 25 grand and the other. Right. Yeah, the desktops could be 10 grand. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's really, but they let us know that we needed to do this. So. Do they get quotes and stuff? Do you know? Yes, Did they, they get? Yes. All yes. Right. Okay. All right. Next one, purchase five tasers with five year replacement plan. Includes cartridges and training for 12,000. It's the police department, obviously. Well, maybe not obviously. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I would mean, hope, however, <laughs> select my dog tasers. You never know. Stay <laughs> out No questions? Okay. Next line, police, military vests. Uh, for 5000 that is eligible for reimbursement, reimbursement from state and federal government in, in right. its entirety, or is it a percentage? Or I think know? it's a percentage, but I think we have to appropriate the money, and then we get the money back in. Well, they have to file for reimbursement, okay. and then we get the money back in. So it may not come back in the year that we spend the money, because sometimes these things take a while. So the federal so. fiscal year is different than the town and state fiscal year. So it may be, uh, that's why we have to, we have to fund the full amount, and then we may get the money back in. Okay. Did we do something with the vests last year? Did it get put into an operating budget or something? That was the turnout gear, and 
the communications equipment at the fire department. I don't think that that's got put into an operating. No, no. Did he delay it a year? I think they they were going to get vests. They had put an article on, and then they took the article off. Okay. The chief at the time did. I remember. Yeah, I remember something with vests yeah. last year. Okay. Next slide: School will place the Halifax Elementary School network switches. $16,000. My recollection was the next, they correct me when, when I make a mistake here. My understanding of my recollection was that that was intended to replace nine. I believe that's what it was. Network switches. switches. Yeah. And what? they were doing it all this year because they have a, um, a matching funds that they're getting, and I can't remember the name of the program. I want to say Ebates, and it's yeah, he told us six times, yes. and I forgot. There's a matching funds from the state, which we can get in FY20, but may not be available in FY21. So that's why they're going ahead with the okay. um, the nine switches, because it would would cost thirty two thousand. Yeah, because I was going to say, I think we <clears throat> what did we what were the network switches here? It was something. It was way more than sixteen, more than that. and it wasn't that many switches. Right. Okay. So the caveat here is the expectation is that the total cost is thirty-two thousand for nine network switches. Right. We're expecting a fifty percent rebate. Uh, fifty percent contribution from Con the state. Contribution from the state, but we don't yet know if that's if that full amount is going to cover the entire nine units or just four. Right. But all he'll get, all, all this actual before is the 16000 So if they don't get all the money back from the state, they will replace the most important or most, the oldest switches. And then um, if they can fill in the difference from the budget, they will do that. And if not, they'll have to wait a year. Okay. So the takeaway for me was if, if the five, what did you say, five to eight years was the recommendation for replacement? The pitch was we could replace all nine for 16, but we don't know that to be true. We'll know yeah, later. From the state. Yeah, After yeah. we found from the state. Any compatibility issues if they don't do all of them? So. He's going with Dell on all of them, he said, and they would be compatible. Okay. Um, purchase equipment for water department service truck, $34,000 to be funded through the water department. Highway surveyor truck, thirty thousand. I actually think it is going down in, in size of, on the truck. I know the water department was. What, what's the highway surveyor one? The highway surveyor was talking about, and I did find his package. But I know that, um, he was looking online. Yeah, he's talking about a Chevy, a Chevy Colorado, that size, so that's a mid-size rather than the full-size truck, and that's why it's less money. He felt it would be more economical because, he, you know, while traveling, he's doing meetings and different things like that. Is he retiring or something? His, um, it says here, the old truck would be the foreman's truck during work hours and plowing. Um, next one, animal control, equip the animal control vehicle. That's coming through the police chief, right? That's, That's coming from the police chief, yeah, they, he does the animal control. So this, will, this was for a Crown Vic? So, no, they currently have a Crown Vic. They're looking to get one of the old um, cruisers yes. and to equip it with the cage. And, and I asked him specifically about it. I said, do you really need the 5000 for it? He said the cage itself costs like 3600 and then there's other equipment they need to get into. And this Crown Vic is probably oh, about 15 or 16 years old. Yeah. It was like our last Crown Vic old, that we had. An old cruiser also. Yeah, I think it was Chief Roderick's old cruiser when he was a sergeant. Is what's being used for now? It's an animal yeah, control. Oh, That's what right. Yeah, the old black one. Yeah. 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 Do they even make one of this anymore? 
Um, I'm sure they do, but n not any. No. They don't really so they use them for the place to get the stuff. Yeah. Dodge So that's how old it is. Yeah. It sound like it. Does it not have anything now? Hmm? Does it not have a cage now? She has a cage, and so cause because it was an old cruiser, it's got the cage. Oh, in between. It's got the naughty cage and the plastic seat. So it doesn't really have, it's not it's got equipped. Like the K9 vehicles yeah. have the cage with the windows and stuff? Is that what it is? Well, yeah, it's I not think even it's a full cage yeah. that fits inside the back. That was my understanding. I don't even think we have that. I think it's the original. Oh, we don't, that's not what we have now. But that's what we're getting. Yeah. We're getting to that, so, you know. Yeah, because we used to have a big van that we got donated from the Sheriff's Department that pooped the bed many years ago. So this, we, you know, we've de definitely done it in a cost-effective way. Not always the nicest vehicle for the you know. Right. Gets the job done. Next is the um, highway request for traffic lights, traffic light rebuild for 1905. That was essentially doubled when we discussed it. Uh, right, when we first got the applicant, it was for 10000 it's gone up to 19.5. But what's been happening is the road salt has been getting in and corroding the wires. Yeah, I've seen um, the pictures. I don't know if it's, there's a picture in here or not. Yeah, but yeah we saw it. Yeah, all right. He has been getting prices, and that's fine. The price went yeah, I was, I was pointing them out to my wife today because we went by our sugar. Like you want to stop and shop at Walmart, and then you see the one at 58, it's completely flipped around, like the way it should be, not facing right. the road. How the road well, at least did one, right? Yeah. Out of curiosity, how do we determine where a traffic light goes? Is that a state So thing? we've had a, a light at 58106 for, for mean, many years. Do you mean the actual location? Yeah. The boxes? No, the location of the lights. The other two lights were put in, one light was put in when Walmart put in. Yep. They put that light in. And when Stop and Shop went in, they put that one in. When there were traffic studies done and the planning board um, handled all of that, what Sunco would use. Okay. Yes, yeah, it is. It is very annoying. I agree. I know. Yeah. 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 Such a short stretch to have three traffic lights, and the only three at a time. Yeah. The, well, the center one makes sense, and even the Walmart one, I understand yeah. that. The other one would be done here with Dunkin' Donuts. You know, that interests you. Right. Yeah. Was that? Regardless, it's it's well, I almost hate to spend money on it because I, I can't stand it. It's like, ah, let's just take it down. Okay, well, you know, I can't stand it. I don't think I'm alone. I can stand That's why I was wondering if it was a state mandated thing, if you have so much traffic in and out of the location, or there's a retail business of a certain size or something like that. That's really no, but I look at they'll do it in the traffic analysis that they went through was part of the site that's putting the site plan in the special permits. Okay. But, you know, they look, look, you know, they'll look at the amount of traffic coming in and out and say, yeah, are you ready? You know, Basically, you're trying to avoid accidents, yeah. and they look at the amount of traffic coming in and out. And that's what they need. And if they didn't take into account the fact that the other one was there, it's now people who speed well, through yes. the first one to try well, to beat the yeah, second one. Because 106 and 58 obviously was done first. Yeah. Walmart would have come in in the late 90s when Walmart came in. And I think Stop and Shop was in the early aughts. So the other two would have already been there. Yeah. And now they would have taken that into account. Okay. Next, recycling cement slabs roll off containers, $15,000 to be funded by solid waste enterprise. Okay. So it's out back behind the recycling center. If you want to go to the recycling center, you know those containers there. They roll in and out, and it's all mud. So they want to put down the stuff. Yeah. Type of thing. Yeah. Um, I don't know if there's any other Next one is um, we place recycling center flooring for five thousand nine hundred fifty, also to be funded for several years. Enterprise. Yeah, that's the one currently. There, yes, it's about currently, and they're looking to put in there that type of flooring that's in there. Questions? Police station flooring at rear entrance, forty six hundred dollars. That's a fix that's been needed for a while. Like we did some, you know, that we did some construction when Chief Newman was there to kind of move right. what was the 
firearms office and we never replaced that piece that was missing. And now that's where the animal control officer has their um, desk and yeah. office. I heard it was a trip hazard. It is. Yeah. They have a desk at the entrance of the police department? Yeah. Like in the entryway? No, no. So you walk in and there's like a little hallway where they have like I don't know if to describe exactly what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyway, you don't need to know. Exactly. <laughs> Her pound's back behind the PlayStation. I might have to call that. <laughs> um, so it's really a safety issue then. Yeah, it's a, a safety issue. Thing, yeah. Yeah. Next one is Pope's Tavern, first floor flooring, $4,500. And there's a note in there that I didn't catch earlier. Is it possible Pope's Tavern money? So when we voted the uh, Pope's Tavern renovation, there was $100,000 that was voted from the landfill um, project that we put towards the Council on Aging renovation and expansion. We're looking into the possibility of using some of that money to do some of the repairs that are needed at Pope's Tower. Yes. But that's still up in the year. So when I was figuring what money was available, I did not take that money out. I'm still using the free cash until we know for sure. When will we know? Or what's the probability? What's the well, I think, well, it depends on what, the big question is, depends on what else you want to get done. For instance, I think there's a Windows project on your on the list there yeah. also for COA. We need to do wiring and other infrastructure systems in the building. And so the questions are going to be, I'm sure we have more than enough stuff to spend 104000 The question is, what are the priorities? If, with, if setting aside the capital plan, if all we have is 104, what would we spend the money on first? And that's going to require at least a meeting with the Council on Aging and the Moore Slackham Municipal School Building Committee to figure it out. And I, you know, as much as I would say we could come up with a list, we probably would not have gone out to bid and gotten quotes. So as we found out, as much as people want to ballpark an estimate, it can be a little screwy as to what the actual numbers are like. Right. So if, if we were able to confirm that this money could be used, the post tavern money could be used for the first floor flooring and the replacement of windows. These wouldn't even be on this list. Correct. Right. And just to clarify, this isn't what was voted. This isn't part of the two million. This is something else that was transferred, voted to be transferred. We so when the original vote happened for the two million dollars, this was funding so that we were not actually going to bond two million dollars. We were going to bond. Um, 900, 100, yeah, 1,998,000. Yeah, 2 million less Yeah, 2 million less than 104,000 right. okay. is what we were going to vote. So they were, the, the vote was a little confusing. This is what we're authorizing for the pro project, but this is the number we authorized to be borrowed. Okay. So. Yep. All right. Okay. Next one is the twelve thousand for the affirmation replacement windows, also a seven that we just discussed. Right. So these are not. Um, they're added in the total, yes. and the what remains is decremented. It also reduces the whatever that total is. We go sixteen five. If it does come from Pope's Tavern money, we'd have that sixteen five as additional. Question. As additional money. Okay. Um, I did talk to Scott. He said the windows that he's looking to replace are the windows in the front of the building. So that facade was going to stay anyways, even if the project got done. They were windows that needed to be replaced. Okay. Uh, next one's from the Selectman ADA self evaluation for 33000 That's Charlie. Yeah, I think Randall, I thought. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not sure if I remember talking at all about this months ago. There is funding from the state for ADA compliance. We went out for both planning and for construction. We found out you have to have an ADA plan in order to get ADA grant money for construction. So we applied for the ADA money for planning. We got turned down. So with this is being done with the hope that we won't have to wait until it was next fall, this coming fall, um, 
to start you know, try again for planning money. Instead, what we would do is get the plan done and then be able to apply for construction money. Okay. And that's a quote that we got in, I went out to bid, the firm that had the best bid is this one, gave that number and they said they would hold on to it. Was there supposed to be like a ramp or something built that was approved last year? We had we had a ramp article in you know, this one. Yeah. Yeah, we had a ramp article in, at the August town meeting yeah. where I, the, for us at this point and I think I need to talk to the building committee and, and the board is like gonna make a decision whether we want to wait until we get through the planning stage and then be able to apply for state funding for the ramp or do we want to just bite the bullet now and get the work done because we're going to need it we need an engineered plan right um, and it may be that town meeting or the state would say well we need you know before we're going to give you money for construction we want the plan done it may make more sense get the engineered plan done now and that's something i need to talk to the building committee and the board select about that. Do we have an idea? Does anyone have an idea on this is self-evaluation? Presuming it hasn't been done before, right? Do we? So do we? Does anyone have an idea what the gaps are and what that might mean for the future for anything? No, it's not at some point. Okay. That, yeah. Codes have changed. I mean, we had a somewhat active ADA committee back in the middle '90s. Um, it really dropped off the radar. We don't have anybody on it right now. We still have it. Um, I do, this is even before my time, I remember reading the newspaper, and how did I read this? Because I, was, I came up here before my interviews to go through the newspapers at the time, and I remember when they were doing 106, there was a big hubble loop about where they were putting the telephone poles on the new sidewalk, because the original locations prevented wheelchairs from going down the sidewalk. So they had to move the poles to allow for enough room. But that was the highlight for the ATA committee at the time, and they really didn't do much else after that. So the things are that the ADA codes have changed in the last 25 years. Um, and so I have no idea what the gaps are. I mean, I'm not saying you know, we're boring about it, you know, um, but at the same time, if we've got, I'd rather be proactive, find out what we've got wrong, than have someone sue us for discrimination. Yes. I know it's a lot of money, and it, you know you want something substantial to see or touch. Or yeah, but that, that's the point. I mean, they're they're. I've been doing a reading because when we were looking at the website, I was looking at the new fad seems to be the sue municipalities that don't have websites that are ADA compliant. So that's yeah. why I went back to Charlie and said. Wherever we use that website better be ADA compliant. So I understand that if we don't spend the money, we're setting ourselves up for having to spend more for frivolous lawsuits. Yeah. Well that's right. I guess where my head's at, we're gonna spend thirty-three thousand for someone to tell us all the gaps that we have. So what are the rules around that? If we have ten million identify ten million dollars worth of gaps, I don't know what the rules are. are. But I would think as long as we're showing progress towards filling those gaps. We're in much better shape. Right. But I don't think anyone is expecting us um, at the state fair level to say, fine, you know, let's say it's $10 million and just, you know, let's be absurd or cold, that suddenly the town's going to come up with $10 million and fix everything. Not in the first year. <laughs> Good. Um, next. Data, next to our data processing, the first one is phone system upgrade for $5,200, and then the next one is data email backup for $5,100. Who do we use for our data email backup? I, I don't think we have that. We don't have it right now. We back up our, we have our computers backed up. Yeah. We don't have the, the email currently. I mean, if, there, if there are emails sitting in people's hard drives right now, that's the backup. No, I mean, because I work in the computer industry, so everything is about having, you know, redundant backups. We have, you know, offshore servers, and we have server farms out in multiple places across the country to, to you know, so if an entire East Coast goes down, we can recover still. In this the next one is the Howard Thomas, the $51,000. That's a reduction for the 55000 
from our last discussion, and that reduction was because they removed the an attachment. Two attachments. Your your grade and utility. Yes, two attachments. Any further discussion? It's a, you know, they don't have one anymore. It's a big orange tractor with a frying motor. Actually, I don't think this one has a frying motor because he's only using it for the rear attachments. Okay. Here you go. Here you, go. Kim, you should looks know. Like it's staying on the list. I know. You should know that both Lenny and Bill have their own personal code. I've been quite impressed by this size. Right? This is the last one they made. So, you have more for attachments. 20 years, they had this 28 horsepower propeller. Yeah. They're looking for a 58 horsepower, 56 horsepower propeller. Yeah. So, so you have one. It's going from you're going from a Honda Civic to a Ford F350. And in the reason, the reason that just he sure is out to the town. <laughs> the, the reason that he wants to go so big with it is because he wants to get a mower that offsets the back. So it's not one of the ones that's on the arm that you can right. control and move down the hill. But it just it offsets a little, right? So and articulates. Yeah, but the other one does I mean, but, but you can get a smaller mower that's bigger than the one that they had, the larger brush hog that they had before. Without getting a 59, 56 horsepower quota, it's just monstrous. And I don't know. I, again, I I think Steve does a great job, and I know it would make his job a lot easier. But he's already got the sixty thousand dollar track list that has it. So the whole point is they don't. He can have somebody run the track list, and they can do a brush, and somebody can run the Kubota, and they can do the grass. But the track list will do both. It will just take the guy with two passes. So, so twice as long. So you're, sure, but you're paying off. So again, you're offsetting it by manpower costs. Well, right. But he's also asking for an additional person. Right. And we're also establishing that he's been doing the chipping, which drives me crazy because they're saying I need bigger equipment to run them simultaneously. I need an extra person because all the extra work. Yeah. It just, I don't know. I think we could go smaller and get just as good a job done. I don't think we need one that big. I know it would make it easier. It would be easier for him to do it, but you could get one that's mid sized with a brush hog that's going to be twice as good as one that they right. had. That was completely fine. Right. So then I go back to the warranty and what's the life <laughs> cycle? Well, when it's it's mid -sized it, he almost shot himself in the foot in that regard because the one that they had from the 80s they made last 20 years and it was yeah. tiny. I mean, it was a Franken tractor by the end of it, but. I mean, they did, they, and they mowed for years with that thing. So again, to go from the Honda Civic to the Ford F-350, I complain about my taxes. So if there was a place to, not skimp, but a place to cut somewhere, that's where I would do it. Especially because they already have the track list that he bought with the Chapter 70 money, I think it was. That was a $60,000 six-wheel machine with a giant uh -huh. attachment on the front. So I don't know, I just, it, it, it's, you literally could not have swung any harder for a large machine. This is the biggest machine they make, and it's not even the one with the arm to go. Because if he had said, I got to mow you know, down an embankment that I can't reach, so I need the arm that reaches over and does it, like you see them on the major highways. Yeah. But that's not even what it is, it just offsets. So it, instead of doing directly behind it, you can do a few feet to the left or right in addition. So I don't know. What's your opinion? I work from the position of he's asking for what he thinks he needs for equipment size. I'm not the expert. Uh, uh, yeah, right. And I, I, I'm also not sure that the original Kubota that he had was the proper size to be no, with. No, no. Why it, was, it looked like a Frank right. Tractor. But it was tiny. So, and again, we're going from a tiny tractor to the largest one that they make. Yeah. I mean, it's just that was, I don't know, a swing for the fences. It's like saying, you know, I drive a sedan, I could really use an SUV and then go on. Yeah, and uh, again, the way I look at everything is return on investment. So if you're going to tell me that, okay, we go with a slow one, it's going to last X years, and I can break that out and say, okay, the cost per year is this, or if I go for the bigger one, I'm going to get X years, and then you got to break into the cost, like, okay, there's a cut down in the car. There's a lot of different variables that go in there. And that's what I'm trying to get my head around. Yeah. It's well, like, again, they, which one is a better return on investment? Again, they made that 24 horsepower last 20 years. Yeah. So I know the big one 
work better because it's commercial, more commercial, but again, you have a 24 horsepower lasted 20 years. So maybe we do a mid-size one. It's still twice as big as the more, not twice as big. Well, actually, the chassis is a, a lot bigger because with these things, it's not necessarily the horsepower, it's the size of the chassis that determines what it's able to do. Because after you certain, after you, I mean, what are the brush hogs? I mean, after you hit, what? I mean, mine's a 33, and I have a huge uh, brush hog in the back, and it, it takes down two inch saplings. It's a brush hog. It, it's the mower that goes in the back of the Kubota. Okay. Well, it uses it inertia, inertia of the mountain. You just literally snap a tree. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. That's my that's my thing, is that we were going from the Honda Civic to the Ford F-350 without... So, what would be the price difference of a smaller... Something mid-size? Yeah, Probably it's a 20 grand plus. Yeah, probably mid-30s. Hey, Bill, I wasn't at the Capital Plan A. Were you involved when Steve came in? Yeah, he was supposed to send additional information yesterday, then again today, and I did not He's see out it right now. now. Yeah, yeah with the his, his admin was going to send it. Yeah. I mean, again, I... Because I'm meeting with Steve Wendy morning at 1030. Okay, oh, that's good. Um, I know why he needs it, and I know understand why he's asking for it, but I can't. You're questioning the size. I can't complain about my taxes and then go, yeah, absolutely, we need a 59 horsepower boat. I just don't feel right doing it. No, no, and you've been consistent, and you should. <laughs> I no, have no, been consistent. No, 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 but that's I honor that. That's yeah. the way. No, that's the way it should be. Yeah, that's just my that's my feeling on it. Right. Well, there's different things that affect different people. Yeah, and I don't particularly right. know a lot about it. Um, and again, I wasn't part of the discussion a lot this year. I remember the, de the, de the debate when both you were and Bill were in the room and you made a lot of sense. So. Well, I'm going to, I'm meeting with him on Monday, so I'll kind of. Yeah, he I'll absolutely, him and he absolutely right. needs a new one. Yeah. And he probably, was the size. he probably needed a bigger one. But again, it's trying to hit a home run here with the largest one that they made. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, I, think we, I asked him last year too because he said that the the size was based on the need for the offsetting mower. So I thought it was the arm that comes off. Right. Which yeah. was all like, sense. okay, that makes sense then because the ones that they do the highways with are massive. Right. I think they're even bigger actually. But they can't. Well, want one with the arm? Well, he doesn't want the arm. He he wants one that. He's it, got the flail on ready. For yeah, he's got the flail on the trackless. Yeah. Yeah, because we we walked through the highway barn and it was like. I looked at the Kubota and it's beat, and I've seen them use it. Yeah. It was beat. Actually, somebody bought it from the auction, uh, which again, I give him a ton of credit for doing that because he did save a bunch of money. Well, that's the thing, too. I mean, that money doesn't seem to be going back into the highway. So. Right. But at the same time, he also needs a sweeper. The grader, yeah. the grader is a, I mean, if they were to get even a used one, I think it's $200,000. So he's going to be looking for a grader. So if you have the trackless and it can do the mowing, it's just going to be slower. I would prefer if he really needs the grader for all the dirt roads, if you really need the sweeper to do the, um, what is this? The, sure, the water bins. Yes. Then maybe we don't do the Kubota and you stop chipping, and maybe you don't fill some potholes and streets that eventually you're gonna, you know. I mean, there's got to be something else there that we can stop doing. I don't. I, is there a big ruckus over the state of the? I mean, besides the roads, which are a separate account, but <laughs> is there other fields with grass and feet behind? Right right I just to start down Haywood Street. Well, right, but right. The, but the roads are a separate issue, right? Because the roads. You're saying is there outrage? Yeah, is there any, yes, is, or is anybody clamoring because the grass is too high? I don't know of any outrage over the grass, yeah. but to your point, I'm not saying that it's not a need, thing, but you guys know more about that piece of I, equipment. And I will say, setting aside, and whether it's important or not, I do remember during the summer, once in a while, Whatever hurt, I would see people posting on Facebook about the shoulders of the road being in disarray because they haven't been mowed. I'd say that it should be as important yeah. as anything else. Well, if there's a lot of action there, they're going to mow anyway. And yeah. to your point, we're not saying that it's not a needed piece of equipment, and we're super appreciative that Steve has done what he has over the last couple of years to try to do it in a cost effective way. Really appreciative. But it, I think it comes down to what size you think is appropriate. So yeah, I, if yeah, Steve came to you and said, I'm willing to, you know, I, I could, but he may stand still and say, no, wait a minute, 
I don't want to waste the town's money and get a lower rate because right. it's not going to be as effective. Because that's the yeah. problem. I'm not an expert, so. I'm not either, so I think it's up to the experts to debate that. Right. right. Which is why and I'm I, asking these two yeah. to have it. <laughs> years ago, several years ago, when Steve was on the highway surveyor, the other highway surveyor, Paul went to town meeting to ask yeah. for a lawnmower, and he got absolutely beaten up because the lawnmower had air conditioning, but they have cabs, um, and they come with it. Want to, yeah. It was all part of it. Yeah. Okay. If she's um, in Whitman, there was a they, lot on they, did Facebook. Argue, they did not argue about the cup holders. No, there was a lot on Facebook about this, but someone who had the landscaping business came on and said, for the work that they're doing, for the fields that they're, they're cutting, that's absolutely the right machine. They yeah. can't be buying a, a John Deere that you'd be cutting your backyard with. You need the bigger machine. So that's a consideration too, because of the amount of use that it's going to get. Because of in from what I understand, things like bulldozers and and a lot of the highway equipment, it's hours, not miles, that you go by how many hours of operation it gets. And maybe right. due to the hours of operation, that's what would require a larger machine. Right, that's what that's I'm getting what at. Needs to be like if it's a thirty three hours versus the other one, it's like is one rated to last a longer operation because again I don't want to go for the mid size one because we but he had used it for twenty years. So again And how difficult was it doing that though? You know, well, but they still did it that's my point. Right? So if there was a there, to, I mean it's the it's it's a safety issue or mm -hmm. no I, mean, I don't know how all these things work. So yeah, how much maintenance did that machine take? The, oh, tons. Uh, the right. yeah. How many pieces were welded together? Yeah, tons. It was a Frankenstein. Yeah, sure. You said it was a Frankenstein yeah. by the time it was done, right? So yeah, so but it was also 20 years old. So together, then I mean, it's hard to find one that that's that old. Yeah. Flying off an Indian man. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So more, so more to come on the Kubota. Yeah, I'll, I'll have a better understanding. I think we all agree. I think we all agree that a new tractor is needed. Yes, definitely. The well, que the question we have is the size. The trackless threw me for a loop because I didn't realize we had a sixty thousand dollar trackless with a flail mower on the front. Because we didn't have that more than a year, so he had been cutting the whole town with just the twenty four horsepower Kubota. Now we have a sixty thousand dollar trackless. And now we want a 59 horsepower Kubota with the $60,000 trackless. Whereas before, we were doing it all with the 24 horsepower Kubota from the 80s. So again, what if I complain about my taxes and then agree to both of those pieces of equipment? So do you feel that it's necessary? Not as much. I understand his need for a Kubota. Okay. The trackless it's not, there was makes no me feel it. Had other, he had the Kubota. Pieces. It was old, and I said he definitely needs a new Kubota. And then I realized we had the trackless. I'm like, maybe you don't. And the reasoning, again, is so that he can run them simultaneously. And so that's why I was asking about stuff like the brush chipping. Is there anything else that we're doing that isn't required that, you know, instead of running both pieces of equipment at the same time, maybe you cut a few things out here or there and do it with the trackless, which is going to be bigger and faster than what you had before with the 24 horsepower Kubota. So this has been on the list for three or four years now. Um, off the top of my head, I don't recall the history, but I seem to recall that there was another piece of equipment that was used for that flail arm. What do you mean? Before the, the oh, I think he, had, a new he may have had an older trackless that he might have sold because of safety yeah. issues. So it so wasn't that the, he was doing the whole town with the one? I think he had, I think for, had, well not the whole time, I think there was a gap there, but I don't think it was very long. All right, again, I'll, I'll, right. I'm talking to Steve on Monday, so I'll get a better idea of how these things operate. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I may be in the minority, but that's where I'm at, so, so be it. <laughs> I didn't uh, say you we, are. Yeah, yeah no, well, I'm, I'm saying we can't agree yeah. on everything. So no, no, I, and again, I, I, I can't make a justification one way or another because I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I mean, I look at yeah. you and you're like, you're going to know more about it than I am. But again, at the same time, I see Bill's point. You're like, well, like I think the person should get what he should think that they need to do the job. So there, I can see point both points of view, and I guess I'll just have to go in and have the discussion and make yeah. my own. Mind up one way or the other. Do we? Do, does anybody know? And I didn't think I didn't look this up. But do we know what the other towns use in terms of size? Um, I think we might have asked Steve that last year. I don't. Yeah, I don't remember. Do you remember? It might be worth asking. Okay. 
Okay. Next, fence for the highway, <clears throat> fence for the highway property for eighteen thousand dollars. I don't have a problem with that. I actually don't either. Yeah, I mean, I was it's a little, stuff a little unnerved that we have people going back there and possibly stealing stuff or dropping stuff, dumping waste. Waste, and you know the the additional cost alone of that sort of stuff would easily offset it's pretty offensive. Okay. You don't want me sleeping on there this summer. <laughs> <laughs> so the total capital articles, um, there's 27 of them. Total 1.496.9 million. I don't know if you two points in the same thing, but 1.497 million. 554,000 of that's um, from the Water Department funding, 20,950 from solid waste funding for a um, total of nine. 921950 from free cash. Right. Free cash and the meals tax, the local free, meals yeah, tax. Yeah. Uh, and that does include the protect two line items that might potentially be funded from Pope's Tavern, which are primarily sixteen thousand five hundred. Right. Um, what was requested but not recommended um, was the middle school resource officer. But it sounds like we are so we said that that should be in the operating budget. It's not a capital item, and, and I guess there needs to be a discussion. If the school is not putting that in the operating budget, then does it come out of raise and appropriate, or does it yes. come out of capital funds? So I, yeah, I feel like the it feeling needs is that it should probably come out of raise and appropriate rather than the free cash, because the free cash and the meals tax. Uh, one time use money mm -hmm. because we don't know that we'll get the same money next year. So we try to um, fund things that, you know, like our capital items and stuff like that. Um, so we're we considering an operating expense. It's going to come back again next year. It should be in the raising fund. And to just update the committee earlier today at 5 o'clock, Fred was there. We met with um, some of the stakeholders. Um, our police chief was there, the chief from Kingston was there, there was um, Elaine Fury, the selectman from Kingston. We had school committee members. We all sat at a round table and we, we, we had people from Halifax explain why we felt like it was important. Oh, Bill was there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm super sick. I feel like Dorothy and the Coley line was there. Anyway. We had a discussion about putting it within the operating budget, and everybody in this room feels strongly that's where it belongs because if it was justified, which I felt like it was justified, that's where it belongs. But Kingston still agrees that they want to pay for it on their own and still have it as an article and then talk about putting it in the budget next year. And their feeling was that if budget things came tight next year, it's easier to get rid of an article and they wouldn't want to have to sacrifice teachers within the budget. Fred, do you want to take that? <laughs> no, I'm not saying anything. Okay. No, I mean, because again, it's just, it's just a shell game, as you clearly pointed out. It's a shell game. I mean, it's like we're spending, the, we, we still have a certain amount of money that we can spend. Yeah. Whether you, you know what I mean? It does you, You're sitting there saying, oh, it make a ton of sense. Why are they worried about teachers for if they're just going to, if because they need the just, resource officer? Right, right. And that's what we kept saying. If it's justified, then that's not what you're going to cut. And I'm not saying you have to cut next year. We're saying, like, we're yeah. saying, like, if it's not sustainable, you have to look at the overall budget the same way you would. And I even pointed out, like, the the principal for the school. Like, we wouldn't ask Halifax just to pay for her position. It's a if it's a needed position. And when we look at state funding and formulas, we want your net school funding and spending to be reflective of what you're, so you you're actually spending. And right. so we feel strongly it belongs in the budget. You know, I think it's going to stay as an article. And as CNA pointed out, it certainly shouldn't come from the source of capital items. It should come from race appropriate. The debate will happen on town meeting floor. If it feels at town meeting, then as Joy stated at the meeting last week, then we're not obligated if the other two, if, the, if Clinton, if Clinton um, passes it, they would just be limited to those hours of which, which is a shame because 
It should, we should have the option. I struggle with that because if you, if you have a need for a half time, for a half -time officer, how can you then get over to the full time? Yeah, right. That's what I mean. That's why and they should be put in the But he yeah, said it's it less than that because, again, we pay, if it's Halifax and Clifton, we pay more, right? Right. Yes. Yeah, so, right. It, I mean, it's not half. It'd be more like 36%. Right. You're right. <laughs> so, it's, so it, uh, like, if it's a 26 hour, it's not, it wouldn't go down to like 13 hours. It would go down to like nine. Right. So they're asking 36 <laughs> from us, I believe they're asking like 18 from Clifton. Yeah. So it would be only about that. Right. So if we don't have it, split. Yeah. yeah. And Elaine no. Fury, again, like we, we almost thought that we almost had them putting it in the budget and then it kind of changed. And I thought and we Elaine, had them and then there's like, yeah, and then Elaine the was like, like, no, we we're don't want to deal with it. it. We just don't want to deal with it. We're yeah, the reason for us because they already got the budget. Though. Yeah. But, not the school. We're grateful. Kingston. Right. Yeah. And then we're grateful that Kingston school was willing like, to pick up the tab. Care. You know, if the residents of Kingston want to pick up the tab, at least we know we tried to share in the expense of that because that's the right thing to do. Right. So we're grateful. But the mechanism is having it a separate article. I still disagree with that way of doing it. It'll be up to the taxpayers of Halifax if they well, want to again, support it. The other thing too is you're paying an overtime officer. I understand but again, why they're doing that. All, I mean, Kingston is paying an overtime rate for. I understand why they're doing it. The regular we, officer too. We did talk about our ideal of, of kind of sharing that. The chief in Kingston felt like it would be a union issue to negotiate because you'd be taking away work from a Kingston police officer. So we did try different ways of getting around it to make it more cost effective, yet providing the service because of the safety of the kids. But. You know, I mean, there's still more discussion that can happen next year. At least we sat around the table and we had a discussion. And if we're going to pass the article at town meeting, I think that whether it's the finance committee, whether it's members of the school committee, Gordon, I don't know how he feels. He had to leave early. But we need to let the people know of Halifax. We need to encourage our reps to put it within the budget next year. Can that be stated on town floor that we're, it can be we're, only, we're only recommending it if that's what we choose to do based well, off of... Well, I don't know, you can't force the... I mean, you might want to make sure those three members... Well, I don't know who's running, but you could ask them, but next year they don't have to do it. But yeah, if you put town meeting on notice, and if they don't, then you can say, well, we have well, to. When the articles are explained. They need to go back to the table. And yeah. Yeah. The, the case you can't say, when you, rec when you put in the recommendation, when finance committee gives their recommendation, they can say, we recommend, if you choose to recommend it, we recommend this article um, because we understand that we'll, it will be put into the operating budget next year. And that's the, that's the reason why we're recommending it this yeah. year. I think that you you're within your rights to state that at you know when you make your recommendation. I just don't. We wouldn't have any guarantee of that. That's though. the problem. No. We don't have any guarantee, yeah. so I wouldn't even say it. Yeah. I mean, I think it's worth. I think it's worth being on record. It. Yeah. Well, let them go on record that next year, if they don't follow through, then I just don't recommend altogether. Because if they don't follow through, money, it's going to come up up as an article again next year, right. and at least the members, the people in the audience, may remember that we recommended it one year because it was going in the budget next year. But, but why didn't they put it in the budget? You know, what's what's going on? So, I mean, it, they might not recommend yeah. it, but. It seems rushed to me. It feels rushed it, and under. Yeah. It, it feels to me like Kingston wants to play the hardball and doesn't, you know, like they want to dictate the terms. Maybe they just started the conversation too late. Yeah. I mean, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. That's that's the whole thing that, that Kings will sit there and say, oh, we were so generous by donating this officer. And as I sent up to you guys, you know, they, it's funny that they donate this officer the exact same year that the law went on the books that they had to provide an officer. So it's like, oh, you're donating an officer when... But it, they can donate if there's funds available and they had funds available. Right. So I am, at the end of the day, very yeah. grateful that they picked it up. But... You know, again, I feel strongly it belongs in the budget. 
But so. the thing is, again, it states if the funds aren't available, then they have to then go up and to apply the to the state. Yeah. And if the state doesn't vote for it, then they have to get an exception to not cover it. So it's kind of like, they, you know, it's almost like they're just trying to make it sound like, oh, we did this such a nice thing for you, so you really should do this for us. When, when in actuality, it's like they, they were required to. And, and what I said is like, well, when they did that, at that point, it should have been. Yeah, I guess. It, it immediately back to the old way it used to be, as soon as that started. I see it as two separate questions. One is the, if there's a need and there's funding, the officer needs to be a Kingston officer. Yeah. And that's a, to me, that's a separate discussion on how that gets funded. Yeah, because I, I was well, like, It doesn't so need to be a, a Kingston officer. It can be a state police officer. So don't get fooled that ask for a Kingston officer. Well, I had wished that if we couldn't afford the overtime again, we could share in the in that responsibility. Like one day that's a Kingston, one day it's a Halifax, one day it's Plumpton. But according to the chief of police in Kingston, that would be a very difficult thing to execute. So, but at least he was open to collaborating because he was happy that John Shabs, our chief, said, "Hey, can we at least collaborate?" On programs and he, he was so open to it so I look forward to them working on programs together and having that really benefit the other job. thing that concerned me was you know the resource officer were asking what your normal day was and everything else like that and he's like oh yeah we do like three or maybe four reports you know it's like I talked to my son he's like yeah there's usually like four fights a week I, I mean I, and it's not just my son I heard from it's other kids like there's fighting going on all the time there and it, and it doesn't, and it's not the, not the assessment that I got. I'm like, well, do you ever see the resource officer break up a fight? No. And it's like, then where is it? <laughs> All right, so one thing about that 36,000, um, that is not currently reflected in the other spreadsheet that I sent that I gave to you. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. so I will be adding that on that front synopsis page up with the, um, where I have the reserve fund and the overlay. I'm going to put in that 36000 for this article in that spot. For the resource officer? For the resource officer. I'll put it there just so that you know where we stand as far as um, money available. Goes. So you're as saying it would be in. it would become part of the level yes. uh, instead of uh, yeah. right. because it's an operating room. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yep. 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 That's, even if we all say no, we could get a pass. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next on the list of not recommended capital requests is a purchase of two desktop computers, one printer, and one multi-line scanner from the library. And that article is coming out. Because yeah. it's covered under there. Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sweeper, we're not recommending, even though that price is reduced from 170 to 160 to 129, though I think we are owed some additional information. I know that I sent Steve an email asking to I mean, let us know what type of sweeper, because yeah. it's like six different kinds. I need to know things and like then, what's the rental cost? How many hours a year are we actually using this, the sweeper that we're renting? She so goes, you take those two numbers and then you've got, okay, this is what we're out, spending out to rent it. And then I can sit there and say, it was 25 ish thousand. Right. So, I mean, that's why I was thinking, hello. Should I knock the door? No. Do not lock open. the door, please. Do we're not lock the door. I mean, I like the exact. Do not lock the door. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Nice see you. Thank you. Because, I mean, if you're sitting here and saying, you? you're going to get 20 years out of a piece of equipment and it's 25,000. A year, then it takes six years to pay off something you got for twenty years. Then it's ex then it's a savings. Except the uh, what I've seen online is the lifespan is six to ten years. Right. And what I don't and that's know what, is, that's what, what I don't know is is it is that so much used twenty four hours uh, right. eight hours a day five days a week. That, right. And this is where I, I come back to the the return on investment kind of thing. These are the numbers I need to get before I can actually come around. Because if you're right and it's only six years then what's the point? Because the, by the time we paid it off, you know, it's, oh, we gotta buy another one. Well, then you could have just rented it. 
The other thing is, the next line down is the increase in basin cleaning. That's actually um, the stormwater management account. Um, he had put in the price of 129.9. We had a consultant who sent us a spreadsheet of what needs to happen in FY20. Um, that's the, we have got this number of 129.9, and the street sweeping is included in that stormwater management number. So that 129.9 includes 32,000 towards street sweeping. In what line did that go into in the operating budget? We have created a new line. Charlie had talked about it, that we would probably need to have a stormwater management line okay. because there was going to be um, additional work mm -hmm. needed. Um, and that's not in, basins and that's not currently in our I just put it in on this the new one that I just handed up. Okay. It's okay. under the highway section. You're running out of money fast here. Yeah. Oh, no. And I actually instead of putting in 129.9, I put in 114.3 because part of that 129.9 number was also labor from the from the highway department. So since we already have that number in we're not paying wages. So I took that number, the 15.6 out, and that's where I got the 114 for that stormwater management line. So the sweeper, my and my feeling if I'm the capital planning committee, is that if we're already paying in that stormwater management lines this for the sweeping for this year for FY20, yeah. the sweeper could wait another year. Yeah, before I, we make that right, decision. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's cost effective. We haven't had a super, a working super for a couple of years. Um, but we'll the other things I start worrying about, like if, if you know, if we're not sweeping the roads, and they, I mean, the complaints that we've been getting with, we've repaid the roads. Are people then filing claims against our the town's insured? They cover repaying and that sort of stuff. That ever happened? I don't know. I mean, I hear online that they're going to do it. Well, we have not as far as going to do nothing. Okay. Because I mean, that would be another concern that we're like, okay, if you're getting claims, your insurance rate's going to go up. Yeah, I don't know how easy costs. that is because. <laughs> I mean, you could try. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how easy that is because the whole state, I think, would be getting. I know, because I would have probably, I mean, I shelled out $3,000 to do the damage going down Haywood Street. <laughs> South Street used to be the number one cause of vehicle repairs down at RGR, I don't know what he used to say. <laughs> South Street is the time. Yeah, well, the problem with Haywood Street is it floods, yeah. so you can't see the potholes. So you're driving down, even if I'm driving down like a normal, you know, it's all, and all of a sudden, wham! So it's yeah. literally, you have to drive down the center of the road. So the next on the list is townhouse second floor flooring. That's the rund section. We're not recommending. And I tried to swap today. And he agreed with us and said they pull me out. Okay. okay. Next is the LED lighting for the library. Um, there is no dollar amount there, but I'm interpreting. It. We're not recommending it. So right. Again, they've got to remove that article. They believe they don't get money from the green community grant, so they want to remove that article. Yeah. The next one's a new one I don't recall seeing, and that is private yeah. citizen request for paving. I didn't put street. that in, so. <laughs> yeah. um, when Charlie and I went through the rough draft of the warrant, this was one of the articles was was in there. Charlie came up with the figure of about two hundred and fifty thousand. That was a real really ball. rough figure. Because that was. Sorry. I was just going to say that if that. <coughs> The money that we would want that to come from would be either the road maintenance account or chapter nine. That shouldn't be from free cash. Yeah. That's, I believe Steve said he was planning on paving Haywood Street in an FY20 anyways. Yeah. That was one of the jobs that he wanted to do in Haywood. And what, what did Steve say the cost per mile? 300,000. Right, it's point 0.6 miles. So it's, I got point 0.8. Okay. Well, I, I walked it so many yeah. times, so okay. it's point 0.6. So, so it's something. Yeah. It, it'll be a significant chunk of change. Yeah, yeah. Works. So you're talking at least 180,000. Yeah. Oh, we do have money in the road maintenance account. Uh, we're putting it up to 150000 in yeah, the yeah, yeah. 20. We have some money in there. We yeah. have money in the Chapter 90. And I believe it was Steve's intention anyways. 
This was put in by a private citizen who I'm sure was just very frustrated from driving down Union Street. Um, the street we drive. So, well, I, I mean, the, the other thing I was talking about, like, is like, well, where do the ambulances go? Because we, I see almost ambulances all the time going out South Street. Yeah. But, and if they're going to Jordan, they're going right down Haven Street. And I'm like concerning, like, well, that road is in such bad shape, you're going to be damaging your new ambulance real fast. So, so the total of the unrequested, or un, the non-recommended articles was 605229 of that. 167,900 is moved to the operating budget, and is this private citizen request that's going to be an article, right? We're just not yes. recommending it? Yeah. Okay. So um, that one is expected to be funded from road maintenance in Chapter 90. Okay. Total so the of total the unrecommended right. was 187. Which we can actually take the 192 off of. So it would just be the um, 168, 129. Okay. And then. Oh, I see. So, so we're not recommending them, but they're still going through those articles. Yes. Yeah. So, so if that, that sweeper one. goes on to the. If Steve doesn't want to pull that article, it's going to still be on the warrant, and the town could vote it. So we always try to make sure that just in case the town votes it, do we have the money to pay for it? So that's what I'm trying to. Yeah. So the way the way it looks now, yeah, the answer is no. We don't. No. Keep going. We we do. So, we do. Yeah. So then the next section is miscellaneous non-capital items, articles. Yep. There's two things we don't have uh, money amounts for yet. But these are all um, like conservation, that's coming from the wetlands fund. Um, the purchase okay. of the street lights. Okay. Charlie talked about this last year, buying all the street lights. He said, what did you say, about oh, $10,000? So that's going to be under 10000 but I'm not, I don't have the time to get everybody up to speed about it. And I'm sure people won't have too many questions, and so I'm just going <clears> to <throat> postpone it another year. I think it's, wor it's worthwhile for the town to do, but I got too many other things. I'm juggling to, I mean, just like with storm water. Right. There's an article on for um, going to land planning and updating our zoning map. I'm not sure of the scope of that. And I don't think it's going to, it may even be small enough that. It might be covered under their budget. It might yeah. not even need to be an article. I'm not worried yeah. too much about it. It's just a placeholder. Okay. Right. I think we're talking hundreds of dollars of that. Yeah, so it might not be a big deal. Um, Is that from like the. There's an error in the zoning map, and so I need to have the official map updated to reflect the correction. There's a change in zoning or a change because they sold? No, like it's a change in the sections. zoning of a, di of a par couple of parcels of land. Um, Rob went back and had to do some research and found out that a parcel of land that's shown as commercial should be shown as industrial. And it's the map that we so. Okay. So, but if you know on the website or if we're giving out maps, whatever the map has to be right. So the next three articles: South Shore Coastal County, well, South Coastal County Legal Services, South Shore Women's Center, which did not come in so far. All right, we're putting a placeholder for that. South Shore Community Action Council. Those but it has are not come in yet. It's the resource advocacy one. That's oh, I haven't seen that. Yeah. All right. This is the same as last year we got the right. past, right? Okay. So um, I'm putting those in because we th they usually come in. There's two that haven't. If they if they don't come in, we, we scratch them. It. Okay. Um, but they it's we contract with them to help our citizens. So the Halifax citizens can go to the South, South Coastal County's legal services and get advice. Um, the South Shore Women's Center, they help battered women, um, different things like that. Then the data processing scanners, um, data, proce data processing would like to purchase a couple of high quality scanners to be used. Um, we're still trying to get this straightened out with Caesar. Um, the building department has an excess of files. They want to scan them and store them digitally rather than paper copies. Because they can turn um, about fire hazard downstairs, right? Right. 
So the municipal building committee went to the building department because of this and so the answer was, well, we'll get you get a couple of scanners, we'll scan it all, and and actually, if you remember when um, the library came in looking for the microfiche, getting all their newspaper old newspapers put on microfiche, that was really expensive. Mm -hmm. If it's six hundred dollars and we have the scanners and then they can do that, that would be great. And the scanners that are being proposed are of better DPI, meaning better clarity of the scans along with being faster than even the scanning devices we have in the two large copiers in the building. Right. So he's requesting $600 for that. Um, there was a private citizen request for a new street light at the corner of Cranberry Drive and Plymouth Street. Well, that's the western corner, the farthest, because Cranberry Drive is a circle. Right. So the farthest one. Um, evidently, it's in, in it is it's very dark and a dangerous corner. I drove by. Um, so they're requesting a street light. Is the light there already? There, it, it's weird. There's a street light on the other side of the road. Yeah. But so on the south side of Plymouth Street, there's a street light at that intersection. The resident or the residents who sign basically say that's not enough light. They want a second light at that intersection. And it's only $150 to put a light in? Uh, it, but it's more, it's going to be 200 I got the final two hundred. but 200 yeah. It's only 200 Because what you do is, it's 200 um, you're, when you get a new street light, you're paying, you're paying the mortgage on it as part of your charge. So it's not pay 10000 or some number up front to put the street light in. What you're paying is, the principal and interest on the mortgage for the street light. Which so the buying the lights. So when we do something like this, right? we increase our street light account by this $200. amount. So this two hundred dollars would go into the street light account. Okay. And then Plymouth County Extension Service, that's the like four H mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So that's hundred and fifty. So the total of the miscellaneous articles, which now has gone up fifty dollars. But was eighteen thousand nine hundred seventy five hundred funded by wetland fees. So that leaves eleven thousand four hundred. So when I added the eleven four, the one eighty seven, three twenty nine, and the nine nine hundred twenty one thousand nine fifty, it came up to one million one hundred twenty thousand six hundred seventy nine. The available funds is one million one hundred twenty-seven thousand four hundred thirty-one. The difference was about six thousand seven hundred. Now we're taking off the the nineteen two hundred, mm -hmm. and we're adding back fifty. So we'll have what twenty-five oh twenty-five thousand left in free cash in, in that available funds. <coughs> How come the scanners are in non-capital? My curiosity. They're too small and they're under the number. Yeah. Three, three or five thousand is a number. Yeah. So, yeah, those, the non capital items, the capital planning really doesn't yeah. have a say in those. Those are just payments so. anyway, right? They're not for actual physical items. The print scan is only physical items, but for the actual unit, yeah. it doesn't matter. Any further discussion on all the articles? No. So we do now have quorum. Thank you, Melinda. Thank you. <laughs> Hope you're feeling better. Thank you. I was actually in another town's board of select meeting just now, so then I came to here. Oh. You're my town. <laughs> so so Melinda, Melinda and I were texting, and we thought, since we've discussed the articles, maybe we could vote them yes, tonight. At least get this out of the way so that we can wrap up the budget discussion or at least progress the budget discussion on Monday. Awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I will rescind. My duties as chair to Melinda. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thank you. I might have a well, I have to engage. Just in the nick of time, right? Yeah. <laughs> we need really a chair to change a chair. I think that's Dude. Okay. Okay. I don't know. All right. Thank you though. Sure. Thank you. You're trying to get further away from me because I'm now sicker than she is.
Yeah. yeah. Bill. All right. On the Kabuta, can we put that up to Monday? Because I'm meeting with Steve on Monday. Yes. And I'd really like to yep. chat with him. So guess what? I used, I didn't know how to pronounce it. Is it Kabuta or Kabota? Kabota. But Kabota. Yeah. Kabuta so Kabata. It's like, the only you know, remember that Disney yeah, show? Kabuta Bata. Oh, oh, yes. yes. <laughs> I think you spelled it too that way, one email once. I think I did. At least you are consistent with it. Yeah. It's a terrible grammar. The boat. All right. And these are, so the the numbers, Bill, um, Kuna Matai. Yeah, all right. So these um, these are not the numbers, but they will be in the water. OK. So you'll have to give a description of the article as, okay. as you, and we'll vote the articles. And then Charlie will be doing the numbering okay. when we put the water to Okay. All right. Um, so thank you, everyone. I apologize again. But um, we'll go through the um, article. So the first will be proposed by the Highway Department, road maintenance account, the amount of $150,000. Do we have a motion? I'll make a motion to recommend the uh, highway, highway road maintenance account in the amount of 150000 Do you have a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Uh, I don't mind making the motions, except I am the liaison of the highway department, so I see. that's why I was in one of that. No. There's going to be some overlap because there's only a few of us. Okay. Who's next? Are the, uh, the assessor's department proposing a reevaluation funding in the amount of $18,500? I'll make a motion to approve the assessor's reevaluation funding in the amount of $18,500. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Request from the treasurer collector for a GSB, GASB OPEB study in the amount of $6,550. I want to make a motion. I'll make a motion to the treasurer collector for a Gatsby OPEB study in the amount of $6,550. Do you have a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. From the fire department, <coughs> new ambulance purchase and equip in the amount of $300,000. I'd like to take a motion to recommend. I'll make a motion to for the fire department's request to purchase some equipment in the ambulance in the amount of $300,000. Second. Motion and second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 From the police department, a request for one new cruiser, new chief vehicle purchase and equip in the amount of $90,000. I'll make a motion to recommend. So moved. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. A request from the clerk to replace voting machines in up $21,800. I want to a motion. That is for two voting machines, and I will make that motion. I second it. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, a request from the water department for <laughs> roof and chemical dispersion for both well fields. This is a $520,000 request that's going to be funded by the water department. I will make a motion from the water department for a roof and chemical dispersion for both of the well fields and we want to have $20,000 to be funded by the other party. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. A request from data processing for network cabling refresh in the amount of $75,000. I'll make a motion for data processing network cabling refresh in the amount of $75,000. Second. Any discussion? Aye. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> I will jump in. <laughs> data. <laughs> data, 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 data processing for server battery backups in the amount of $4,200. I make a motion for data processing server battery backups in the amount of $4,200. Second. Discussion? All those in favor? From the police department, a request to purchase 15 new computers with Windows 10 operating systems installed in Office 365 cloud email in the amount of $35,000. So moved. Second. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Request from the police department to purchase five tasers with five year replacement plan cartridges and training in the amount of $12,000. So moved. Second. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Request from the police department for bulletproof vests eligible for reimbursement from the state and or federal government. The request amount is $5,000. So 
Second. All those in favor recommending? Aye. 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 Request from the school department. Replace the Halifax Elementary School network switches. The amount of request is $16,000. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Request from the Water Department to purchase an equipped Water Department service truck. The amount is $34,000 and will be funded by the Water Department. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Sorry, any discussion? Yeah. Okay. Request from the Highway Department for a Highway Surveyor truck. The amount is $30,000. So moved. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Request from Animal Control to equip Animal Control Vehicle. The amount is $5,000. So moved. Second. All those, uh, discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Request from the Highway Department for Traffic Lights Rebuild. The amount of $19,500. So moved. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Request from Recycling for Cement Slab for Roll-Off Containers. The amount is $15,000 will be funded by the Solid Waste Enterprise Fund. So moved. Second. Discussion? Those in favor? Aye. Aye. From the um, MSBC, Replace Recycling Center Flooring. The amount is $5,950 funded by the Solid Waste Enterprise Fund. So moved. Second. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. From the MSBC police station flooring at rear entrance, the amount of request is $4,600. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 From the MSBC post tavern first flooring, the amount is $4,500. Do we need to vote on this one? Yeah, the next two we discussed potentially coming out of some money that was voted oh, right, as yeah. part of post tavern. Yeah. We should we hold off on those two? Yeah, that's the not hold off. Yeah, we, can we know where the money's coming. Okay, so we'll, um, the, does anyone want to, uh, I'll entertain a motion to table the two requests regarding Post Tavern. I'll make a motion to table <coughs> the recycling request, I'm sorry, the MSPC requests mm -hmm. for replacing a recycling center flooring and a plea. Not the recycling. Post Tavern. Post -tavern. Oh, uh, I will make a motion to get glasses, no. <laughs> I'll make a motion for recycling. I throw her. No. Cement slab roll off containers in the amount of no, no, no. no. I will I will make a motion. Let 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 do it. I will make a motion to table the MSBC request for Pope's Tavern first floor flooring in the amount of forty five hundred, as well as Pope's Tavern uh, replacement windows in the amount of twelve thousand. Second. Thank you. Favor. Aye. Aye. I just realized I'm gonna make this bigger. <laughs> uh, a request from the selectmen for ADA self-evaluation. The amount is thirty-three thousand dollars. So moved. Seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. From data processing, request for a phone system upgrade. The amount of five thousand two hundred dollars. So moved. Seconded. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. From uh, data processing. Request for a dated email backup, the amount of $5,100. So moved. Seconded. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, I'll entertain a motion to table the highway department request for the Kubota. So moved. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And lastly, a request from highway for fence for highway property, the amount is $18,000. I'll make that motion. I will second. A discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, on the next page. The, um, no, uh, Charlie and or Sandy, are, are all of these still as of right now active and have not been pulled? All we'll pull the, the library one? Uh, no, all the capital articles that are not, all this one for capital articles not recommended, all of these are considered still the live articles? The, the library, on. the library, the purchase, so the two computers, that's being pulled, the um, MS, BC, the town hall second flooring, and the LED lighting are both being pulled. Okay, so the LED lighting, the town floor second hall, second floor, and the LED lighting. Okay, so those we don't have to, have to vote on. Right. Okay. Um, so the first we do have to vote on is a request from the school department for our middle school resource officer. The amount is $36,000. I'll entertain a motion on the finance committee's recommendation. I'll make a motion to recommend. Well, what do we say with comment <laughs> that the agreement is that this would be added to the operating budget next year? Yeah, that's a good way. Yeah. 
I just think it's important that we go on the record. No, I, I think it's important that you go on the record for that. So, so then should we recommend the article or not recommend the article? Well, I don't want to recommend it at all. I don't either. So give a split vote if you don't. Then it would be a no vote. Yeah. Well, we still need to take the vote. So. Yeah, and then, but we can still speak to it on town meeting floor and explain why why the no vote has a no vote. Do we want to wait we for um, for Brad? We could. Yeah. Because we have a fifth. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. So did we have a second? So hold it. No. So if we don't have a second, then I'm ready to read. Okay, you can pull your motion. I'll pull my motion. Yeah. I make a motion to table the discussion on the middle school resource officer until we have a full committee. Okay. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 The amount of $168,129. I'll entertain a motion on the Finance Committee's recommendation. I'll make a motion to not recommend the Highway Department's request for a sweeper in the amount of $168,129. Seconded. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And the request from a private citizen for the paving of Hayward Street in the amount of $250,000. I should abstain. I probably should too. <laughs> I live on a river. <laughs> Do we want a table until we have a full committee? I think we should. Sounds like we have to. Might okay. as well. Understand. Okay. Let and I are most effective on the street. That's fair. I'll make, I'll make a motion to table the discussion or the vote on the, or the recommendation on the paving of Hayward Street in the amount of $250,000 made by a private citizen. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. All right. All right. Thank you, folks. And that's tabled until we have a fifth or fifth or fifth member, yeah. Our full committee. Um, and folks can still <coughs> vote, you know, to abstain or not take part in the vote depending on their own personal feelings when we're at full committee as well. Um, next, the miscellaneous non capital articles. We have a request for <coughs> conservation for wetlands secretary and support, the amount is seven thousand five hundred dollars, and that would be coming from the wetlands fund. I'll make a motion from the conservation department for wetlands secretary and support, the amount of seven thousand five hundred dollars to be coming from the wetlands fund. Seconded. Any discussion? About, is that the one that comes up every single year? Yes. Okay. What what fund is the wetlands fund? The wetlands fund is uh, money that is when people come in to um, come before the conservation committee to do an RFD or, or um, notice of intent. Notice of intent. Money, uh, they pay a fee. Okay. Yep. Some of the money goes to the state, some of the money goes to the town. That's when we were having the discussion with the, you know, the, the resource officer <coughs> of you doing the article, and I said we don't want to do that. Gordon threw that one right back in my face. The <laughs> wetlands one? Yep. Well, well, because we do that every year. He said we do the exact same one every single year. Oh. Yeah. So I was kind of like, well, I can't. There's, so we do it in a right. yeah. There's a reason why it's an article. Yes. Yep. So this money comes from the wetlands fund. Um, we do fund a certain amount every year. It stays in the article. If we put this in a line item, at the end of the year, the money would go back. And we do fund the fund. position within the, the budget. We do that, okay. right. So there's so, a line item in the budget for that position. Right. And because this money is coming from the wetlands, fund, it, this money cannot go back into the general account, general fund. It would have to go back to the wetlands fund. Okay. Um, but it stays in the article, it gets used or doesn't get used, but it never, it never goes away. It stays there for so the So if we have $100 at the end on June 30th, it stays in the it article. It stays in the article. It can be used right. the subsequent year. So it's, in it, because they're going to hit, from what I understand, they have a couple of big projects right now coming before conservation where people um, are trying to build very close to right, So I think, I think the thing that there's using, around is like when we'll you say the secretary in there, but you're saying the secretary is already really just- It's already in a line item right. and this, we started this many years ago when we eliminated a position right. that the conservation agent, because it was gonna be more cost effective that way. We had to do budget cuts yeah. and then, so we, this is how we do it so that again, it's not, totally the taxpayers that are having the burden of funding the whole position where it's based on 
need mm -hmm. and so that need for that particular right. role comes from the wetlands. So, so the people this, who are using it are <coughs> With this money, they can hire yeah. a person to go out and do a delineation or, uh, or yeah. make a judgment on a wetlands delineation. Um, or they could use it to fund extra hours if, if they found that their secretary was being bombarded with, with um, filings, then <coughs> they could fund extra okay. hours for that. So the people who well. use it are actually yes, funding the work. extra hours. Right. We're funding the minimum of what we right. need, and then the extra hours, if needed, are being funded <coughs> by the people who are using it. Got it. Okay, thank you. No, that's cool. Who was questioning it? Coordinate through right to the face when I said at the school committee meeting that we don't want to be having the same article come up every single year with the resource oh. officer. And he oh. threw that one right back at me. And of course I had no answer for oh, him because okay. I wasn't. No, no, it's fine. He should he knows. He, he I love him, but he sat there, so he should he know. He was going to have a brain. He just wanted to yeah. you know, he wanted to give me a hurt time. Oh, okay. Did you vote this? We have a motion. Uh, we have, yeah, we should. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, I'll entertain a motion to table the request from the selectman for purchase of streetlights and from the We're going to pull, uh, yeah, yeah. Gonna pull them. Okay. Yeah. We don't have to hold the spot at all. Yeah. Okay. For both of them? The land planning oh. one hold the spot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so we, in case. I think the table in the next floor. Um, land planning itself goes to social assistance. We haven't received, right, because we haven't actually received the. Request, but we haven't actually received anything from the There's itself. only one we've received a request for the street. No, for the um, no. office. Yeah. Yeah, the only two work I've got officially in. Which are the two that you've got again, sorry? Uh, let's see, the attorneys and the mm -hmm. uh, advocacy are working with us. Did they ask for 3500 Oh, sure. Because I remember last year, I think they asked for more, but we ended up doing a lot. Okay, so we'll wait on those. Um, we can hop down to request from a private citizen for a street light at the corner of Plymouth and Cranberry Drive. The amount of $150. It's $200. It's $200. Thank you. I'll make a motion from a private, private citizen to recommend a motion from a private citizen for a street light at the corner of Plymouth and Cranberry Drive West. The amount of $200. I'll second. Any discussion? I did drop out of the Excuse me. The thing over here, so. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, a request from a private citizen for the, oh, for the Plymouth County Extension Service. Oh, that's the four each, so. Yeah. Um, the amount of $150. So moved. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 We can do the scanners. We'll yeah. Oh, we can do the scanners. Yes. Okay, good, thank you. A uh, request from data processing for scanners in the amount of $600. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 So we're just going to hold hold off then on we just have yeah, yeah. Do we need to make a motion to table the discussion on the assessors for land planning zone map pending? Yeah. Yeah, until we find out more about that. Okay. It's 3500 for both. Just so you know, I've been confused because what happened is the Women's Center changed their name. Oh. So it's South Shore Resource and Advocacy Center for Domestic, and then <coughs> say the purpose for is, is Domestic Violence Intervention and Prevention Services. So they've changed their name, but it's the same organization as the Women's Center was. So that's 3500 for them, and then 3500 for South Coastal Legal Services. Okay, so. Do we have any idea what it was last year? Because I remember we reviewed it. Was that was the three five last year. Yeah. yeah, well, we voted. For that's what we did. That's yeah. what I'm saying, yeah. yeah. I think they originally came in and asked for the five. Five, I think yeah. 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 Five, yeah. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So, a request from a private citizen for South Coastal County's legal services. The amount request is $3,500. I'll make a motion from a private citizen for South Coast County legal services. Amount of $3,500. Second. Any discussion? <clears throat> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. A request from a private citizen for the South Shore Resource and Advocacy, formerly known as the South Shore Women's Sector, in the amount of $3,500. I'll make a motion to recommend. I'll second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Um, I'll entertain a motion to table the discussion on the following the assessor's land planning zoning map request. 
and the private citizen request for the South Shore Community Action Council. I'll make that motion. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Are you mail? Yeah. Thank you. Also, I found a quarter on the floor, so. That's <laughs> all. Uh, from uh, Charlie City Town Administrator to the Finance Committee, um, a gentle reminder about posting on Facebook. So here is um, a question of whether or not members of a public body can communicate with the public through social media platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, and web pages. Um, I'll just read the, the kind of brief response. It is yes, members of the public bodies may communicate with members of the public through any social media platform. However, members of the public bodies must be careful to not engage in deliberation with other members of the public body through such communication. If a member of a public body communicates directly with a quorum of the public body over social media platforms such as Facebook or Twitter, that communication may violate the legal meaning law. Public body members should pursue caution when communicating via these platforms. Just a reminder that any time there's a quorum of us talking, we should be in a good meeting. Does not mean you have to stop. I'm not right. the open meeting law police or anything like that. Yeah. Just where you use your discretion. Well, like this week, I was like trying to point them back to the exact time and the exact video where, where we actually yeah, discussed it. But that's just if, like, if yeah. three of you were talking on Facebook. Uh, going back well, there's one. that, but also right. even if one person is talking and the oh. other two people are listening. Uh, now, in the sense of. I'm going to vote for this yeah. thing. Okay, that. Yeah, right. That's deliberation. But what you're, what you're saying, this, this video here, you should go see it. It's at yeah. 10 yeah. minutes. That's yeah, because I've been trying to get people, I've been advocating for yeah. Yeah. months now. You know, here's the meeting time. Mm -hmm. the meeting no, time. It, it's also why we don't communicate, well, we don't do stuff over email. It's the right. same idea that that's, even if just a couple of us are doing over email, and the same idea extends to social media posts. So hard. Like, I totally get where you're coming from, Charlie, and I, I know the spirit of which you don't to explain it. But it's really hard because when you're on Facebook, you want to be able to explain something. Right. So there's many days that I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, I want to explain it. Sometimes I'll like private message people. <laughs> I'll explain it. Because I, I don't, I try right. like folks, but you know, when I'm in Hall, I might. <laughs> <laughs> and you're free to do that when you're in Hall, because you don't want any boy to do it. So I should not have sent you the private message to tell you to read the article about the things that I No, that's something that doesn't go to the right now. Yeah. Okay. I know, it's really, like, crazy, right? <clears throat> I mean, I understand it, but... Yeah. Is there any other but I, Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, we took care of the budget discussion. Any public participation? Actually, we did, did, we did have a budget discussion, but I made a motion to table the budget discussion for this week, which we have yeah. about five members from the Yeah, because I think we've done what we can on these articles, which is actually good. We're actually a week ahead of what we thought we'd be getting those done. So, and we're, awesome. And we're waiting for high feedback from Highway and yeah. MSBC. And then, we'll, then we can finish our article four next week. We can still get the letter done. Scott, the is coming. Scott, okay. Oh, good. Yes. He's been, yeah, I've been playing phone tag and yeah. on the phone, so I talked to him about that. So we're ahead. Good. Good. I know. Good. Well done, team. Uh, I think we just skip it. I think we can just skip it because we technically did have a budget discussion in, in terms of doing all the articles. Um, that's just been our generic placeholder through budget season. Okay. No public participation. Um, if you ever ask me, I rise. I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Absolute. Oh, awesome. So, second. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We're doing it at 8.15 p.m. Thank you so much, everybody.